Okay, uh, in the last video, we derived a reduction formula for this uh, general type of integral here, and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, we just used integration by parts, and we applied the formula twice, and we got our answer. Now what we want to do is derive a reduction formula for this kind of integral. And this is going to be more complicated, obviously. Um, we're going to spend this video, and probably a one after this one, um, discussing and deriving the reduction formula for this type of integral. And this becomes later on important to us later on when we're dealing with beta integral functions. Now, remember with this one here, it was obvious this is u, and this was going to be dv. But well, what about for this one here? Is this dv? And do we call this u? That's the first thing we had to deal with. And the way it's done is the integral gets rewritten like this. We have the sine of x, cosine of x, times the sine of x. dx. So this is still to the n power, but this is going to be to the m minus 1 power. And then when that's finished, this ends up being the dv term. And this is u. So we're saying Let u equal sine to the m minus 1x times cosine to the n x. So let's see, what is du going to be? Uh, here we will have this times the differential of this. So we have sine x to the m minus 1, that will be n, cosine of x to the n minus 1, and take the derivative inside, that will be minus the sine of x, dx plus we had this times the derivative of this. Now we're going to have this times the derivative of this. So we have cosine to the nx. And this derivative will be m minus 1. Times the sine of x to the m minus 2 times the derivative of what's inside, that's plus the cosine of x dx. So let's see, what does this give us? We'll have du equals minus n times the sine of x to the m power cosine of x to the n minus 1 dx plus m minus 1 cosine of x is now going to be to the n plus 1 times the sine of x to the m minus 2 dx. So that's du, and v, to integrate that, that will be minus the cosine of x
Okay, so let's see now. This enter go here. And we have a lot of writing to do, so that for right now, let's just call this integral j. j is going to equal u times v. And this is u, and this is v. So for that term, it looks like we're going to have minus sine of x sine of x to the m minus 1 times the cosine of x to the n plus 1. And then we're going to have minus the integral v du. Here's v, this is du, and this is du. This times this is positive, and here we're going to have minus a positive, so this part here will be minus n cosine or the integral of sine to the mx times the cosine to the nx. dx. And then this is minus this here. Uh, this is m minus 1. This, we'll keep it like this. We'll, we'll not write this as 1 minus m. Keep it as m minus 1. So this is a negative term with the negative sign before it becomes positive. So now we're going to have plus m minus 1 the integral of this times this. So we're going to have m minus 2 for the sine part. And then for the cosine part, we're going to have n plus 2. dx. Okay, and let's look at what this comes out to be. Here we have sine mx, cosine nx. But that's the same as this. So this integral here is what we would call referring to now as just j. So we can bring this over to this side here. So we'll have j plus n times j will equal minus sine of x bringing this over here gives us j plus mj equals minus the sine of x to the m minus 1 times the cosine of x to the n plus 1. And then we're going to have plus m minus 1. And let's look at this here, m minus 2. But this is n plus 2 here, um, where plus and we're going to write the integral like this. Here we have sine of x to the m minus 2 cosine of x to the n times 1 minus sine squared of x dx. This is the cosine squared times this would be cosine of x to the n plus 2. That's what we had. And the reason for doing that is, um, well, let's multiply this out. So we have j 
plus nj. Okay, now we have here minus the m minus 1 sine of x times cosine of x to the n plus 1. That stays the same. Times x. And let's see what we have here now. We have plus m minus 1 and we're going to have this times 1 so that's going to be sine of x to the m minus 2 times cosine of x to the n and we're going to have dx minus m minus 1 And here then we're going to have sine of x to the m power. Sine of x to the m cosine x to the n dx. And once again, this is j. So we can bring this over here and that's going to be plus that. So we have j plus j plus nj and then we're going to have bringing this over here this will be plus so we'll have plus mj minus j equals this minus sign before it sine of x and minus 1 cosine of x to the n plus 1 and then we're going to have plus this integral here sine of x to the m minus 2 cosine of x to the n dx so we're very close here to solving for j which was this integral right here we may not have enough time during this video to finish it up finally come back uh, join us for the next video and we'll get this finished off.